In this video, I'm going to explain how I used engineering to get a shiny Pokemon. Let me explain how I did it. Hey Ross, sauce it up. Pull up in a ride, yeah, I painted with some decals. I ain't never stopped, can't be trusting any females. So recently, I've been doing a lot of shiny hunting in Pokemon Let's Go. As you can see from my past couple videos, I've been doing pretty decent. But there's a shiny hunting method in the game that I've been wanting to try. If you didn't know, there's a shiny hunting method that you can trade normal Pokemon for their Alolan forms. So in different locations at the game, you can meet trainers and trade them Pokemon and they give you Alolan forms. Let's say you were to trade a normal Rattata to one of these trainers. He would give you back an Alolan Rattata, but there's a tiny chance that he could trade you a shiny one. And that's what I'm looking for. So I've been wanting to hunt Alolan Marowak for a while, and this is the perfect time because of the fact that you can actually do the trades in the game to get a shiny Alolan Marowak. Basically to do it, I caught 100 Cubone and evolved each one of them into a Marowak, so I had 100 to trade each time. Which means I trade 100 Marowak, he gives me 100 Alolan Marowaks, I check to see if one of them is shiny, and if it's not, I can reset the game, get all 100 of my Marowak back, and I now can trade them again to have different odds for one of them to be shiny. So I did this for about 300 Marowaks until I realized the process was only pressing the A button. And I thought maybe there's an easier way to do this. Since it's only pressing the A button until I had to re like set my game, I started looking up ways to possibly like press the A button by itself instead of me having to sit here and click the A button the entire time. But there came a problem. You see, with other games that I would have to mash the A button constantly, I would just use my turbo controller because it's a controller that mashes the A button for you. That's what it's made for. But with the Pokemon Let's Go games, the only thing you can use is a Switch Joy-Con. And they don't allow you to use pro controllers with the game. So I had to come up with a different idea. I pretty much sat and brainstormed for about an hour until I just couldn't come up with any ideas. So I looked online for answers and I found this video by a small channel called Jade Strider. This person came up with a really cool button pusher by using a desk fan to every time the desk fan spun, it clicked the A button. Turns out the A button isn't the only A button on the Joy-Con. Technically, the R button and the ZR button also work as the A button in the games of Let's Go. So, in Jade's video, you see that the fan is pressing down on the, on the R button, the right trigger. And that's because the right trigger is the only button on the Joy-Con that takes the least amount of force to really press. So, if I was going to make anything similar to Jade's creation, I'm going to have to have something that presses down on that trigger so it doesn't need that much force. So I decided after watching Jade's video, I wanted to try and recreate Jade's design, but for myself, of course. So I went to Walmart, got the supplies, and after spending about like a whole night almost, kind of putting it together, trying to make it work, I finally made it work. And here's like the first test footage, I guess. This is the only footage I really have of it working, but this is what I ended up getting. So after getting the clicker to work, there was only one thing left to do, and that was to shiny hunt it. So I spent about four days, about four hours a day each on letting the machine run while I did kind of like stuff on my other monitor. And after 1,037 Marowak trades, this happened. Is it? Yes! I told you, boys! Oh! 
So yeah, the clicker worked, I got the Alolan Marowak, and I went ahead and transferred it straight to my Sword and Shield game because I wanted to give it a nickname, I couldn't do that in Let's Go. But yeah, now Violet is what I called her because it was a female, she's purple, named her Violet. And so now she gets to hang out in Pokemon camp with the rest of my shinies, and I officially have an Alolan Marowak, which is super cool. But yeah, there is one other problem though. The clicker can be upgraded. You see, the Joy-Con on the clicker, actually, after a couple more trades, I was finishing out the Marowax, the Joy-Con died because the Joy-Con needs to be charged on the Switch. And if I had it taped down, I can't take it back off. So, in my next video, guys, I will be upgrading the auto clicker and I'm going to be working on getting a different Alolan form. So stay tuned for part 2 guys because I am going to upgrade the clicker and we're going to start using it to get the rest of the Alolan shinies. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe because I got a lot of cool content coming out when it comes to Pokemon. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>